So you can compare that if you have a five judge panel and that is the score that you have. Here's Xu Yan Mei of China. She's doing the inward two and one half somersault pike, 2.8. And she is in second place. May, defending World Cup champion. This is the assistant coach for the Chinese, and uh, they're a little concerned because they expected their divers to be diving better. This dive, however, is superb. Look at that pipe position. The only flaw I saw was as she passed the tower, feet went slightly flat. She got it back together, and what an entry. Beautiful dive. All eights with an eight and a half, 67-20. Between dives, she's been reading a novel. We got this information from the Pearl Dak Yan Mei of China. And this is a forward three and one half somersault pike at 3.0. Leading after five rounds. And there's a towel on the platform. She has been spooked, and yeah. that's the word, by the surface on this platform. She has put this towel down, and we'll see it on the replay. And because of this towel, she doesn't want to slip off the tower. She puts her towel down, but she doesn't get to the end of the platform when she jumps. Let's see if she does it here. She's about a foot to a foot and a half behind the end of the platform, and that is hurting her takeoff. The good news is it is the official Olympic Games towel. <laughs> <laughs> That's All right. sevens, but a seven and a half for a 63 total. Xu Yan Mei of China is the leader. Michelle Mitchell of the United States remains in second place. Angela Sasalevich of the Soviet Union is in third. Wendy Lian Wei of the United States is in fourth. Chin Xiaodan of China is in fifth. And Suk Abish of East Germany is in sixth. Xu Yan Mei. Xu Yan Mei leading the competition with two dives to go. Now this is a reverse two and one half somersault tuck. We will get a nice comparison on this dive and Wendy's dive. Everyone at home Try to see where her feet are when she kicks out of this tuck. It's very interesting. There. A little low. She kicks almost straight down at yeah. the water. And then maintains a nice straight body, and boy, what a rip. If I was judging that, I would go at least nines on that dive. This panel has been a little stingy, so we'll have to wait and see what they do. Okay, here again we get to see it in slow motion, the judges' profile view. I see the legs come apart slightly. I don't know if the judges would have caught that, but here's that Chinese kick out. Straight body all the way to that rip entry. And the judges say there's a nine, eight and a half, seven and a half, 68.04, and that is the leader. He's going to be tough to catch. Xu Yan Mei. She is leading there with her coach. She is leading Michelle Mitchell of the United States with one dive remaining by 27 one hundredth of a second. The diving order has worked. Xu Yan Mei, who is leading, diving before Michelle Mitchell, so we'll know exactly what Michelle needs. And this is a back two and one half somersault pike at 2.9. If there's any weakness in her list, it's right here. She has been inconsistent with this dive. That's going to be difficult to score. Why? The dive went in perfectly clean. Hardly a ripple. But the dive did not go in straight. It went beyond vertical. Now let's watch this come out again that we saw in her reverse. Watch where her feet are in relation to the water when she lets go of that pike. Right there, pointing straight down. She lines up for the water, but reaches slightly beyond straight up and down. Now I saw a slight turn there. I don't know if the judges would have picked that up. Eight, seven and a half, eight, seven, eight, 68, 73. The door is open. Xu Yan Mei of China, she's the gold medalist, and deservedly so. She was, she was really Olympic diving well, and now she's being Xu announced to the crowd here. People's Republic of China. The youngest of four children. Her name, Yan Mei, means fresh flower.
Gun medal, medal d'argent. The silver medalist, Michelle Mitchell, the United States of America. And she now has two, one in Los Angeles in 1984, and there's her father, Mitch, with a lucky cap on. And the silver in 88. What a way to end a career. This is her last competition. Tung medal, medal de bronze. The bronze medalist, Wendy Leanne Williams, the United States of America. And this is a surprise. A little tentative at the beginning of today. But then when she got to the last three or four dives, she got better and better and better. And it takes eight dives. Eight dives to make the medal. And she did. Oh, what a moment. 관중 여러분, 중화인민공화국의 국가가 연주되겠습니다. I think every photographer in the world always says, one more, just one more. And what Ladies a special and moment Please stand for, for the playing three of the national ladies. anthem of the People's Republic of China. This one you remember in your memory book for the rest of your life. Shu Yan Mei, gold medalist. This concludes our Olympic victory ceremony. Thank you. 지금까지 오늘 경기를 관람하여 주신 관중 여러분께 감사드립니다. 내일 경기를 안내드리겠습니다. 내일 경기는 남자 스프링보드 다이빙 예산 경기로. 오전 10시와 오후 2시에 시작됩니다. 관중 여러분께서는 경기 시작 1시간 전까지 입장하여 주시기 바랍니다. Thank you for watching the competition and we'd like to inform you that the men's springboard preliminaries will begin at 11. Now let's go back to Ryan Gumbel.